next up for our wholesome game finale. We have a game that you can probably tell why I'm excited to play it. This is Hamster on Rails. And it seems like we've got four levels we can play. Oh no, we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got seven levels that we can play for this game. Uh, the rest of them will be unfortunately in the full version only. So, let's get right into this. Welcome to the Hamster on Rails demo. The Hamster's Village needs more minerals and crystals, and that's why you and the best and bravest railroad builder hamster have been assigned to this adventure. Using the parts you have available, build the railroad to the exit gate by performing the following task. So we have to collect ore and get, get the key, um, and if we reach the chest we get new skins, if we ha and we can help hamster friends to retrieve items as well. Okay. Let's dive into the game here. And right away, I can see part of why I was immediately drawn to the charm of this game. Um, some of the skins you're able to collect uh, are actually references to Hamtaro, which is, uh, you know, a show I've loved for a very long time, a show, a manga, etc., etc. Um, so we want to collect the ore and get the key. Uh, but let's go through the tutorial from, for our friend here. Okay. Okay, so we press that to pause. Game sound. That restarts the stage. Okay. I'll be okay. go here, I presume, and then this will go here, this will go, nope, there we go, and then we just have to build between the and we're good to go. It was quite a long tutorial for what is an objectively simple game. Um, I kind of wish there was a way to speed through that a little bit more because it felt like it was quite determined to handhold. Okay, tilted rails. Okay, pretty obvious to figure out.
Okay, so... Obviously they want us to do this. Okay, so I think this should work. Alright, we got our first skin, which is... Oh! I think that one looks like Boss. We also have a face that's very atypical for them, so we'll stick with that one. Yeah, I wouldn't say these are, I wouldn't say these skins are direct imitations, more so just references toward, um, but I definitely think that's, oh, okay, so, if I hit that button, okay, now I can delete all of this because we did we still got the we still got the uh treasure chest there so instead of doing that let's just oh, hmm. seems like we're not able to do that okay So it seems like Oh, you know what I did? I didn't link it up properly. There was that's why there was still one piece left. Okay. I I was just being a dumb So we can just reconstruct our path here as we did before. And then I just made it terminate here for some reason, instead of using this last piece. There we go. Very not mandatory, the game is telling you. I can't work at mine. I left my pickaxe on the island. Okay. this area again. We clearly need to curve in here, then 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 here. And then we need 
this here. That should take us on a direct path to the objective. And I think once we rewind from there... I think once we rewind from there, the objective will still be complete. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to use these. So if we just follow this railway here, the optional objective should be completed once we rewind. Okay, so that does lead there, huh? Okay. Now I'm kind of not sure. What can we do to perhaps cross over our own rail, maybe? Okay, hold on. Might have to think about this a minute. We need to collect every bit of Okay, so I'm I think I see it here. We need this right here. This right here in the end to bring us home. And then for the rest of it, this needs to bring us here. That's the air. I think that's the layout we need. Now we just have to see if we're able to complete the track. I think that's perfect. Okay. So it seems like every level will have us use all the pieces uh, for a perfect solution. Okay, let's skip that this time. Okay, so our optional, our optional objective this time is another chest. What's our, what's our actionable area? Okay, so it's obvious we're going to need this here. And a couple of this and a little bit of that. That's going to be our first part of it here. We'll need to curve across here, then... I guess... 
Yeah, we're not able to go here, so put it there, there, and then there. Obviously we'll need our structure blocks like so. Oh no, hold on. Okay, there we go. And now we just need to link up all of our corners and we'll probably go. Alright, there we go. got another expression which is of course adorable and what's our skin okay just a simple white fur let's go with that for the next couple of levels there shouldn't be too much more in this demo I feel like as there was only seven levels I'm not sure we're on level four okay so there's only three more levels so we'll probably use this to finish to finish out the demo oh okay this one we have a new piece, the crossing rail. Okay. So this is a rail that'll allow us to... An area marked for us. Okay. Um... Because I wanted a crossing rail there. I don't think I do. Okay. Okay, so we've got to help someone get their axe back, which means we probably need to do that and link them up as such. means we'll probably need okay there's our actionable area so I'm beginning to see how this is working out for us The trees in the way here kind of make it a bit difficult to navigate. Let's see. So we want to go there. I think we want to turn here. Then. We want to turn. Here, okay, so hold on, we'll need another crossing rail around here. Because if we go through at this point, we'll go around like so, okay. I understand, I understand, I think. Hi there, Jelly. We've got hamsters. They're on rails. OK, 
Okay, so then... Okay, we'll need another crossing. another crossing right here then that 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 and our entry point for the crossing will be right here so just like so or maybe we enter this way no I think that's it yeah okay hold on this way and then up here and just finish our loop and then we go down over here up over here and then finish out like that there we go that should be perfect. There we go. Now we bring the axe to our orange friend over here. Job's done. Got our key. I really like the pacing of this game. The puzzles are getting more involved, but I'm not really finding myself stressed out or over-challenged by them at this point. I like I like the gradual procession of mechanics to introduce, and I think they're taking it at a really good pace. It's just fun and it's just adorable and comfortable to like build little hamster trains like this. Be careful where we get. We have an optional objective. There's the chest there. Okay. There's our exit. So let's uh, let's see here. We don't need a crossing just yet. We just want to build up here. We have to go around here, so that's that. But we do need a crossing right here. Because we're going to need to go in that way and around that way. Okay. And then... I feel like once we go down here... We'll need... Not sure. We'll, we'll get to that in a second here. Okay. Um, but for now, let's just continue to proceed that way. Where's our key? Where's our ore here? How do we get up to there as well as down? Okay. That's what I'm now curious about. Okay, so there's our actionable area up there, okay. So it's obvious what we're going to need is a circuit around here with our...
crossing place here, I think. And then... probably go into hmm this is going to be a difficult one let's see do you want to go this way sort of and then go up here i don't know hmm let's go this way first and see how that works out for us around here and then we go out this way which leads us down here right but then we can What if instead of this, we used a turn one corner sooner here? So what if we put another block up, and then we did this? This might be a very unstable solution, but let's see if this works. So we've only got one structure block left that doesn't seem like it'll work for us right here, but it could. It could. No. We still need another structure block. So I don't think this is the strategy. So what if instead we just... Did that, that, and then this. And then this. And this still uses the 
same amount of structure blocks. Okay. Wait, no, it doesn't. There we go. Okay. So then that works there. Okay, and then, yeah, we can just take these two. This goes here, this goes here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, then we want to turn here. Our crossing right here, I feel like. Which takes us around this corner. And then just fill these in like so. doesn't work either, does it? Hold on, I may, might have done this wrong. Because if I put this here, that links up. But this isn't linking up for some reason. No, okay. So this is still not correct. a tough one. Do, do you have any thoughts on this, Jelly? What we might be doing wrong here? I feel like this first part up to here is, is correct, but from here onwards, it's like... Okay, well, let's take... Let's take out all the parts I know are correct at this point. Which is like all over here basically. We can link these pretty confidently. Um, we can keep that loop con pretty pretty surely. Um, it's like everything here. I don't think I don't think the game would tell us to put two structure blocks up like that. So let's see. here and then out here. Let's put these two down. Uh, and then okay, well that was simple. It feels not correct, but I'm not sure why. Okay, and then just as before. I think this is a uh, our strategy here. Up here, over here, down here, and then just so. Okay, there we go. Took a bit of finagling, but eventually the solution revealed itself. Perfect. I was beginning to think this would be the puzzle that would introduce some fake-out pieces, but turns out that was not the case. I'm wondering if a puzzle in this demo will do it, or even in the full game later on. Mm -hmm. It's 
a game like this, you know, fake out pieces would kind of be a natural mechanic to have. Alright, so what do we get this time? We got a very excited face. And, oh! Okay. Um, I can't remember which... Was this Doc? Was that his name? Let me look up what this one might be a reference to. No. What was his name? We got... One like this. Not really Oxnard. I'm tr I don't remember every character in Hemtaro over the years. So I'm trying to figure out what this one might be. Oh. No, it wasn't that. It was... Okay, so this one's sort of Dexter, I'd say? Maybe? It kind of has the glasses kind of marking there. Um, but also it's not really. So, hmm. I'm not sure what this what this one could be a reference to, if anything. I don't remember any of the ham hams looking like that. But again, these are more references than, you know, actual direct copies, so... It might just be that these are inspired and not really similar at all. This one does kind of bring to mind Oxnard vibes though, so let's go with that one actually. And continue on. So how was work today, Jelly? You told me you were on your way home just a, a short bit ago. Did your day go well? Hope so, hope so. Okay, level 13. A new piece of the lever, okay. That's good, that's good. Okay, so... Put a lever there. R key and left click, okay. Select, select the trailer is indicated by the wooden plate of the scenario to complete. Pardon? There's a bit of a language barrier here. I'm not sure if this game was translated from another language or if. Um. You know, it was just originally created in this sort of slightly imperfect English. I'm not, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure just what it's trying to tell me here. Um, who made this? This game is by... Let me see. Uh, Virtual Arts Studio, uh, developer studio, likely an indie one that I have not heard of yet. Uh, let's see what other games they might have made though. Uh, yeah, okay. So no games I've heard of um, in their portfolio. Select the trail that is indicated by the wooden plate of the scenario to complete the connection. Let's 
so maybe it is it telling us like maybe I don't know I really don't know what this is saying, admittedly. Um, I'm also going to be right back, just one moment. Alright, and we're back. I've looked everything up, and I think I understand what the game is telling me to do at this point in time. Although I don't really fully know. Uh, let me look at the menu here. What is... Is this the last level we have available to play? It is. Okay. Well, since this is the last level here... Oh, it's not. It's not. We've got more... We've got more in the next world as well. Okay, well now I'm... Now I now I'm curious. I want to try and finish this and go to and see what the next world is. So If I was to go over here, what happens? Cuz right now these are the linked rails here, right? So Okay, so... I know what we have to do. Let me let me try the, something out here. Can't see really back here. And before we forget, let's just make sure to relink these here. I think what will happen now is... Oh, wait, hold on. So let's just, let's just make sure that this works in the way that it should. First of all, okay. Because if we hit play now, it'll go over this here, and then once it reaches the lever here, it should. Okay, okay. I understand now. Okay, so. Figured out, figured out how these little levers work. That's good. Let's uh, continue doing what we do here. So our next bit of movement here has got to be... Oh, I think we just need to go on the 
full slant here. Okay. So then... want to put a crossing right here. Because we're going to need to go up this way, around here, and then down across this way. So let's configure that next. Then let's put this here with our lever right here. No, where do we want to put the lever for this? our rail all the way down here. I think we might need to use one of the levers to rotate turn piece here. I think that's our strategy. Yeah, because we want this to be like that. And oh, we just need to... Yeah, I think that might be what ha might be what we need to do. And then let's put that like that and go across the block here, it'll turn that way. And we go across the block here, it'll turn this way. Allowing us to go up here okay so that I think that track that part of the track is done let's link up all this if we're able to There's actually a lot back here we haven't yet done. Okay, hold on. We might be fine though, because not all of this is just going to be the straightaway. Some of this has to be turns, turns, turns. Turns.
structure block. Go down here. Take another turn. Link it. Link it. Got two pieces left. I hope this track is actually complete and there are no blind spots. Uh, we've, we haven't used one of the ramps though, so may maybe we deserve another check here. Oh yeah, okay, I understand. So wait, where is... There's gotta be some blind spot in this track here that we're not seeing. You know what? Let's try it. Let's hit. Let's hit the the go button. And see where there's something missing. Cause I don't see any defects so far. Okay, slap the lever there. Let me proceed up this way. Made it around there quite fine. Right by the wooden arch in the oh, there is true, true. Okay, well we're, we've already hit play, so let's just go back here. I didn't see that. Okay, there we go. Now our beautiful track is complete. Thank you for spotting that when I couldn't. <laughs> and now we get to watch the little hamster that could. And round and round he goes, up and down and side to side, and I will eat some chips. certainly are cucumber flavored chips okay so we completed the tab here All right, so is this gonna work as we intended yes it is beautiful We are the minecart master. And with that, the forest world is complete, and we've got one level in the desert world that we can play. And there's a new piece that serves to open and close doors. Okay. So let's see, we've got no optional task this time. We've just got to go... Let's just squeeze right through this door. There's no levers this time either, which is nice. So... We want to just go right on through... beautiful doorway with a crossing right here as usual three corners for that then
simple but mechanics. Alright. On we go. with our intrepid little hamster on his way to the eventual exit door. That will be where we end Hamster on Rails. A lovely little puzzle game. I think it's I think it was very well paced for what it um, what it wanted to do. And honestly it's just it's just very comforting seeing these little hamsters rolling on the train tracks all over the place. So yeah, in the full version, 64 levels, 4 worlds, and obviously the game's on Steam, you can wishlist it there. And we've got a whole bunch of different skins in the full version that we didn't see here. Uh, I can see like strawberry ones, watermelon ones, oh goodness, that's quite the frightening monster. And of course some Hamtaro inspired as well. Um, Oh, and there's even more pieces that we didn't see as well. Okay, so this is yeah quite a quite a nice and involved little uh, train building puzzler, and I think for fans of those sorts of games, I think you'd have a lot of fun with this. Um, I wasn't frustrated at really any point during the game here, uh, aside from aside from a bit of the language errors. I think those could get in the way if they aren't tweaked a little bit, made more clear as to what you're supposed to do. Uh, but I think that's really the only barrier that anyone might have to enjoying this game. Uh, if, if you're a fan of these comfy and relaxing puzzle games. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, a great showing from uh, the developers, which are again, uh, virtual, it was Virtual Studio, right? No, Virtual Art Studio, that's right, okay. So yeah, nice little game, nice little game, but we're going to move on to our next one here in just a moment. <laughs> 